By this time next week, the constituents of St. Joseph would have voted for their candidate of choice to represent them in Parliament. Tonight, we begin a week-long feature looking back at the history of the oldest town in Trinidad and Tobago and at four issues affecting the constituency, that of youth empowerment, underemployment, crime and infrastructure. Iran Bromel has been in the constituency over the past few days where he's spoken to the candidates and you, the people of St. Joseph. The constituents of St. Joseph will on November 4th vote for their 14th member of parliament. This after Herbert Volney crossed the floor to the independent Liberal Party. San Jose de Oruna, the first capital of Trinidad, was founded in 1592 by Don Antonio de Berro y Oruna, two centuries before Trinidad was ceded to Britain in a bloodless battle at Chagaramas. St. Joseph is also the oldest town in Trinidad. The late Louis B. Homer recalled how the community retained its historical importance, referring to the South African ex-slaves Donald Stewart, or Daga, Edward Coffin, Maurice Oxton and Henry Torrens were executed in Barracks Square on Abercrombie Street, today renamed First National Park. It is home to several different schools, including St. Joseph Boys Roman Catholic School and St. Joseph Government School. Another landmark is the Roman Catholic Church, which was built in 1815, on the site of the first church, which was erected by Domingo de Vera in 1592. With a population numbering in the thousands, St. Joseph still maintains its popularity and its historical authenticity is still highly regarded. The focus again is on St. Joseph and by extension the constituency, as five candidates seek to become the next member of parliament for the area. The People's National Movement's Terence Dale Singh, United National Congress's Ian Allen, Independent Liberal Party's Om Lala, the Democratic National Assembly's Michael Lopez and Independent Errol Fabian are the candidates. The first parliamentary election for the seat was held in 1956. Since then, the People's National Movement has had seven representatives, the United National Congress five, and one for the National Alliance for Reconstruction, 13 in total. The last candidate, Herbert Volney, vacated his seat when he left the UNC to join the ILP. Percival Nurse is 98. He and his wife Evelyn, who is 92, have seen every parliamentary election for the seat. They live on Victoria Street, across from First National Park. They have an issue with the noise. And that's the disturbing part, the noise all the time goes on. I think we should get some help in that. Because it's only recently this has started. The cars are coming in, you know. And the population of uh, people are moving in the north. And, and, you know, and that is the main problem. In Cayman Circle, Elizabeth Gardens, this resident is not pleased with the representation in the parliament. People are generally dissatisfied with what is happening with the political parties. All of them. Thank all you. of them. And I think we're just tired. We're just tired of the same old, same old. And, um, if we feel that there's someone who can represent our interests, mm -hmm. I think that person can have a good shot. Errol Fabian is the independent candidate in the race. He says he's the favorite choice for the job. If St. Joseph people want a board anchor, Mr. Bialsen will have to vote with what his leader said. If the leader wants a red car, you have to vote for that. And we understand that. I think loyalty is very important. But I will be loyal to you. I will find out what you want before I vote every time and I'll always give feedback on what is going on. Hassan Mirage lives in Mount Do. He wants to live in a community that is self-sufficient. I want to see development, plenty, plenty development. Because at the end of the day, the oil will last forever. Right? So at the end of the day, now we have that thing that coming in will help motivate our country, that each community, we need to have our country self-serve. Self the People's National Movement candidate, Terence Dale Singh, a constituent himself says the constituency is conservative. He's counting on his track record in the Senate. I think if people were looking for showmanship, flair and appeal, PNM would not have won the local government elections. People are looking for substance, substance over style, form over style, and that is why the PNM is doing well. That is why I will do well. I may not be flamboyant, I may not be a, a, a reality host, but what I bring to the politics is a certain degree of character, stability and integrity and the willingness to get the job done. Umlala, an attorney at law, is the independent Liberal Party's candidate. 
when people want access to proper representation. They have a lot of infrastructural needs. There are a lot of community needs. The young people want a sense of empowerment, not short-term employment when election time comes, but some sort of sustainable development in their lives and opportunities that they can be given. So there are diverse needs in the constituency. It's a, a very complex com constituency in terms of the way in which it's divided, but across the board, I think the primary concern is having proper representation uh, in all quarters. Mr. Lala is competing against the flamboyant Ian Allen, who is representing the Rising Sun. Just a few short weeks ago, the two were the best of friends. I will not walk if I can't deliver. You understand? So, because I don't believe in a handout in a t-shirt, telling a man a t-shirt and vote for me. Why you must vote Ian Allen? Why you must vote Ian Allen? Look what, look what I have done for the la in the last 14 days. Look at how, how, how many projects people waited years to see that. I think what I have started, a member of parliament would have taken an entire term to do. And then, there's the candidate for the Democratic National Assembly, Michael Lopez. And our aim is to build awareness of our party because our aim is to contest the general election in 2015. But as long as there is a by-election in St. Joseph, just like there was a by-election in Chaguanas West recently, we intend to contest every election between now and the general election in 2015. We will be the new government of Trinidad and Tobago. We are confident of that. So you've met the candidates. Join us tomorrow night when we deal with one of the four issues for this week, the all-important issue of youth empowerment. Lebron Brummel, 